Welcome back guys. It's been a long week. We just got back from Cali here with Junior. He's actually driving so I'm gonna vlog this portion of this video. But if you clicked on this video, you saw the title. We're getting ready for our hunting season. Um, a big portion of our hunting season is, is coyotes. So if you don't agree with coyote hunting then go ahead and click away. We'll have some fishing videos and other stuff. So if you're new to this channel, hunting, fishing, camping, hiking, anything that you can do outside of your house, that's what we do. It's currently 105 degrees right now. Yeah. We're wearing one right gear. As you can see, we're all suited up, but this is their early season. So it, it looks hot, but it's actually really thin and cool. Mm -hmm. Early season gear. We're out testing it out. We're also going to be using Vortex um, optics in this. We're going to zero on the rifle and just do a couple stands. Right? Yeah, a couple stands. Just a couple stands just to break the ice, like you said, and see if we can't get ourselves a coyote. All right, guys, so we're out here at the range. I forgot to mention when we go out and try to get a coyote or try to call one in, we're going to be hooked up to the phone scope. And this phone scope should get some awesome footage. If you go down to the description, some of the companies that we deal with gave us 10% discount. So one rate phone scope, other companies down in the description. If you're trying to use some of this stuff, there's some discounts down there for you guys. And we're going to zero in this rifle. First time shooting it. You ready? Yeah. All right. First time using the Viper scope. Well, there's, there's no way. First shot ever. <laughs> straight yeah. through the middle after boar sighting it and, and we just got this target from the store on our way over here with yeah. that little piece of yellow so he could see it i guess uh boar sighting works we've never done it in the past and we had we did it this time in 20 yards i mean i shot uh, that's exactly where i aimed but went straight through it we wanted at least an inch down at 20 yards yeah because we're gonna we're gonna sight in at 100 yeah so we're gonna get it down to about an inch lower at 20 yards, but that's that's beautiful right there. Oh yeah, that was, that was awesome. perfect. All right, minor adjustments made, and shot two. We won't bore you with all the the zeroing in. All right, shot two. Let's go check it out. The coyotes got to be terrified this year. First two shots out of this rifle ever. I'm I'm already. Blown away. I'm happy already. It's right. the Viper 6.5 by 20 and then it's 50 millimeters. All right, we are zeroed in. He's gonna hit a couple long range targets. Did a 50, 75, 100. We have range finders, so there's cans and stuff out there that we can shoot further. It's gonna take us about 10 rounds. 10 rounds, done, get out of here. We'll go sit, try to call something in. Maybe even get a jackrabbit, just so that we know how everything's working shoot a jackrabbit at like 100 yards or something. Yeah. Put one right through it. Yeah, you hit it. You hit it. And that far one? I hit it. Did it fly off? It went like that. All right, successful mission. 100 yards, I mean, it's still within an inch. This is the first time we're starting at the very beginning, have all our gear ready and everything, and we're just ready to go 100%, because we've gone with weapons not ready before, right? Oh yeah, we've been out with weapons before, and there's the consistency not there. With a lot of ARs, we weren't finding the consistency we wanted. That's why we decided to go with the bolt action, and I can already tell we're gonna have a lot more accuracy this year, a lot more distance, and a lot more fur put down. We built this for coyote hunting. Yep. Before we were switching from a deer gun, you know, to uh, making yeah. it a coyote gun and all that. Yeah, we went out and pur purchased this gun strictly for coyote hunting, like he's saying, and I'm already impressed. It's starting Long to get hot. Way. I want the sun off the back of my neck. But uh, we're zeroed in. We're gonna put the phone scope on. We are going to try to get a rabbit first. We'll put it on, try to get a jackrabbit. We'll try to get a headshot on a jackrabbit at like 100 yards, see how good we really are. So keep watching if you want to see that. If not, click away now. Remember this, our target is going with us. Keep our deserts clean. Help us out. Get all these grasshoppers. 
All right, mission one. We're gonna go on top of this this hill over here, the high spot, and Adrian's gonna try to shoot a rabbit. Shoot a rabbit. To the right. Well, I literally just made the best shot I've probably ever made in my life. Probably two 150, 200 yard rabbit was all across the valley. All right, guys, so this is the rabbit right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick him up now. We're going to take him to the truck. And uh, we're probably also going to go try to make a couple stands. We'll see what happens. It's kind of hot out here. But once again, it's a pretty big one, too, for this area. They don't usually get that big out in this desert country, but that thing's dead on. All right, guys, first coyote stand of the year. Getting the rifle ready. We will be using the shotgun because there's a lot of pups out right now, and pups will just run straight towards the call. I'll use some hand calls, maybe use a lucky duck. This is just a test, make sure all our gear is working, and we should be good to go. All right, stand one called for 10 minutes. We're not going to call for longer than 10 minutes super hot coyotes not gonna run a mile to come into this call it's only gonna run in a couple hundred yards maybe a few hundred yards because the heat yeah because of the heat so so we're gonna go ahead and call it now at least the hunting trip part of the day it's just too hot simply too hot it's probably 108 degrees out here everything's hot the gun's hot they're burning my hands the rocks are hot we can barely sit down and also i got some thorns in my butt cheek from this thing I, it's got one of the worst pains on this planet that hurt but um we're gonna go ahead and head back to the truck gun shoots great though I'm very happy with that this is a great looking area we've shot coyotes here before it's just simply too hot right now we do it's not even comfortable for us to be out here. So if we come back out, it'll be in the morning. And other than that, we're going to go ahead and head back to the truck real quick. This desert out here is unforgiving. All that naked and afraid and all those shows, they they put, put people in places where there's actually a way to survive. Out here, you'd survive about two hours before you died. No water. There's not water for miles. Super hot. Everything's hot. There's no way you could walk barefoot out here burn the soles of your feet off a lot of this is lava rock we got some coyote tracks in the dirt but i'm sure the coyotes are only moving early in the morning and evening mainly at night because the coyote even a coyote's feet will burn on this stuff it's a lot of lava rock like the side of that mountain there all that's like that black lava rock super hot all right, we're back in town after a long day. Actually, like an hour of being out there. It was too dang hot. But um, got something to eat. I'm gonna go check our mail. We got a mail call. Got something exciting to show you guys. So stay tuned. Mail call. Let's get these boxes out of here. There it is, ladies and germs. After a lot of research, a lot of reviews, watching YouTube videos, we decided to go with Canyon Coolers. Awesome company, all the reviews online, they have videos, throwing them out of trucks, testing them, drop testing everything. Ice stays cold in there for how long? A couple days at least. Five days. The test on YouTube showed five days. Oh, and it lasted all five days. Yeah, that's what we're gonna use for elk pronghorn and everything else we hunt yeah. this year. We wanted to work with a great company. We've heard great things about them. We want to work with nothing but the best, so. And look at that, lifetime warranty. Awesome. All right, so we went out, we basically just scouted, had a good day still, it's always fun. Oh yeah, I got to shoot my new rifle for the first time, so that was really good. Really, really impressed with how it's shooting. Uh, like I said, we went with the bolt action this time and I can really see a difference in accuracy and I'm definitely with distance, so. Um, other than that, I mean, as I've shown you guys everything we're doing this year, you guys got to look forward to all the coyote hunting like we are. 
If you guys like these kind of videos, go ahead and comment down below what kind of predator hunting you guys want to see. Maybe state suggestions, maybe just suggestions in general. If you guys want to see something new, something different. We've got bobcat season right around the corner. Deer hunting season. Actually, deer hunting season is literally right around the corner. It's just coming up. So uh, there's a lot to look forward to fishing. we got a lot of big things coming for you guys this fishing season also. Fishing season goes pretty much year-round, so not really season. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.